This comes one week ahead of the board's vote on the IPS Rebuilding Stronger Plan. That meeting is set for Thursday, November 17th. Meanwhile, today, inside one IPS classroom, elementary students are taking a one-of-a-kind class. We're talking about computer coding. Our Samantha Johnson visited the school and talked to some of the students involved. This is something that I would really be interested in if I was still in high school, as far as, you know, in, in elementary school as well, the coding of this, Samantha. Carlos, this is really, really cool. We are outside Ernie Pyle Elementary School, and this is where I got to meet with some of the fourth graders during their class to watch them learn. But I also got to watch their teacher, Miss Janina Sorensen. She's introducing them to this really innovative type of technology, which she hopes will carry these students into the digital world of tomorrow. Here inside Ernie Pyle Elementary School, just northwest of downtown. Okay, so your page should now look like this. Does your page look like this? Ms. Janina Sorensen is teaching tech to her fourth graders. So where's the yellow? Do you see the yellow? Look right here. Yep. But this isn't any kind of tech. This is block-based computer coding. So we got move forward. I like that part of your code. Using these 18 tiny blue bots. This robot's name is Dory. Students work through a program on their computers to communicate commands and code the robots to respond. You got this. You got this. <laughs> they know how computers work, but like how do computers really work and like dig into that. Like I can only do what the com um, I tell the computer to do. So press play. Ms. Sorensen says the curriculum is a little different for each grade level to suit both kindergarten and sixth grade. <laughs> Look at that! Fourth grader Aaron Cruz Lopez told me coding the robots can take a couple tries. Almost took like, like almost 10. But you know what they say. It was so close. Okay, restart it. If at first you don't succeed, Try, try again. You're not going to get it the first time. Not everybody's perfect. Not even nobody's perfect. So I just feel like if you have courage in yourself and you believe what you believe in, you can achieve. A great lesson for everyone that Ms. Sorensen hopes these computer coding kids will carry with them into the future.